pile for earlier. Right, two pork Viennese schnitzels um, from Lidl. And I think these were £3.69. You know, I can't find the bloody receipt. So I'm not 100% sure, but I'm sure that was 3 69 If I do find the receipt and that's different, I'll put it up on the screen. But yeah, um, found these, never had them before. So uh, we're gonna have these um, tonight with uh, some uh, miniature potatoes, um, boiled and then fried, and then um, beans and maybe an egg. Right, let's get down and have a look at these first. Right, and here they are, two pork schnitzels. Um, Braymore brand, uh, Viennese style, serves two. Right, let's get down and have a closer look. Right, Braymore, two pork, pork schnitzels, Viennese style, serves two, cooks in 20 minutes. Um, these are from Lidl's, and so I believe they're three pounds 69. You've got 500 grams there, cooked from frozen, which these are, little traffic light system there. Right, um, so we'll look on the back and see what we've got. Right, 68% pork, breadcrumb coating. Uh, your allergens are wheat in there. You've got starch, salt, yeast, spices, dried lemon fruit, rapeseed oil, water, salt, glucose syrup. Pork, pork schnitzel um, coated in breadcrumbs. Um, just a bit there about the allergen, uh, allergy advice. As I said, wheat but it may also contain celery, egg and milk, mustard and sesame. A little bit of nutritional information there if you want to have a look. Um, cooking instructions. Right, we have the oven. Um, I'm actually going to, or you can pan fry, and you, or you can deep fry. I'm actually going to do these in the air fry, you know. Um, no, it doesn't say that, but I'm sure they'll work. Right, if we're going to do these in the oven, that's 220 Celsius, fan 200, gas mark 7. Um, as you can see there, and that takes 20 minutes. Or you can fry for 6 minutes, or you can deep fry 3 to 4 minutes. Um, obviously, ensure the food is piping hot. A little bit of storage instructions. Um, little... Th um, Stamp there, DE, Germany, uh, produced in Germany using EU pork. Um, although every care has been taken to remove bones, some small pieces may remain. Right, there we have it. Right, I don't think that's any more information I can tell you on that. Let's get them open and have a look. Right, here we are. Get the side open. Easy enough. And that is what we get. Two large pork schnitzels. Get them open. Well, pretty big, I would say. Pretty big indeed. Right, I'm going to get these in the air fryer and get these cooked up. We we'll also have miniature potatoes with it, which I got from Aldi, um, which I'm going to. They're just the little tiny, small miniature ones, like that, which um, I'm gonna boil um, and then drain it, and then I'm gonna deep fry them, so they come in nice and crispy. Um, so baked beans and an egg. Right, I'll bring you back when this lot is plated up. Right, and here we have it. One schnitzel, I've done a fried egg, some beans, boiled some miniature potatoes, as you see there, and then um, finish them off in the deep fry. So, let's have a look at this schnitzel. I couldn't get this done in the air fryer in the end for the schnitzel. I had to do that actually in the oven because I couldn't fit them in the air fryer, unfortunately. Um, so I didn't get them as crispy as I wanted to. Right. Let's see what these are all about. One... Schnitzel. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, I like them. 
they got a nice seasoning on that. Um, very nice. You see it there. Would have crisped up a little bit better, I think, um, in the air fry than it happened in the oven. But forget that, because these are really tasty. Yeah, lovely. Got some miniature potato that have been boiled and fried. Yeah, nice. Very, very nice indeed, they are. Um, I'll have them stitchables again. And beans. Um, that, all in all, is extremely nice. As you can see there. See the schnitzel on there? Don't want to tip it too far. That, I'd give them an 8 out of 10. I think they're very nice. 369 from uh, from Lidl's. Two pork schnitzels, Austrian, Viennese. Um, what more can I say? 8 out of 10 for them. Go and get some. Try them if you haven't already. First time I've tried them, I know they're not new. And I know they have been out for a while. I've always said them. I never picked them up to be fair. And that, and I thought, right, well, I'm going to try them. Give them a review. But yeah, 500 grams. Um, can't knock up. Right, thumbs up if you like this. Comments below. Have you tried them? Do you like them? Um, probably make your own with some if you want. Um, yeah, and if you didn't subscribe yet, please consider doing so, because it do help the channel. And uh, I'll catch you lovely people in the next one. 369, 8 out of 10. Thanks for watching. Cheers.